Hey there and welcome to Blood Sports TV. I had a recording and I play like matches on and blah blah blah. Did all this explanation and stuff and then turned out my sound didn't work. So yeah, it's just a footage of me doing a lot of clicking and doing nothing. So yeah, we're gonna do this again. Welcome to Blood Sports TV where I'll explain all the classes. I'll just go over them real quick because I already done this and it's goddamn annoying. So there's this whole progression thing you can different characters well classes and as more you play the more you unlock content and strengthen your things um, here we see servers multiplayer based game um, you can also play alone which will would I will be doing in different waves there's an endless mode here three waves there I'll be playing one wave it's a new game you can set that here these these are the difficulty modes so different leagues amount of players one boss two boss three boss and endless and different levels which react different well which kind of make the gameplay a bit different there we go with one that's very linear so we'll need to keep that in mind four classes we'll go from this to that to this to that and just go over as quickly as possible I'm going to take this one because these are better than those I believe but there's also more that you can unlock we're ready to go so as a first setup um, we'll explain here this is the shop and something to heal with in the shop you can partake in different items you gain um, currency by killing enemies of course uh, you can also see that it ranks up to ramps up at, uh, rather to uh, pretty costly items you also get um, a bunch of recommended items in this case this one which we'll be saving up for 3200 and the first wave will come soon since this is a wave based game whoop you can see that it takes quite some time to go from point A to point B so in between waves when you'll go back to the shop etc you need to make sure that you're back in time we're going to take a skill point here. Huh. Is a good color on there me. we go. And start our bashing. I'll uh, get back when I got all the skills I need. So now I have all I need for my item. I'm going to war back to base, which you can do. You can't war back to where your original position was. I'm going to go to the shop real quick, get this predestined item buy it so I get vamp strike Magic and now hurry service. back before my silos get destroyed my little turrets actually the silo here is the main thing that you need to protect so in this map it's very important to, to try and manage how you get along the map Don't be afraid. this is my ultimate attack it's a line of fire thing that destroys everything in your path and as you see that made short work of their gladiators which is pretty much the enemy version of myself you can rely on me. There we go. Go on and get those little minions. So the little minions are pretty much the father. You don't need to really take care of that. Here, these guys are what you need to work out for. So that's the skill that, oh no, get out of dodge. Makes me warp towards them. The most important skill is the second one that I just activated, which will kind of let me hit faster for a while that's in accordance with that item that gives me vamp strike is um, rather important so that's the thing I'm going to level up the most although these are short waves so I shouldn't be able to level up too much so once more try and kinda get a view of where I need to go with this with the this is a critical strike one he will pierce through my armor um, these hurt a lot that's just generic um, this guy here is probably what I want to get first because they can buff and that's not very good the first skill is also quite handy at least boom in this case where it um, it prevents healing for a certain time between waves I like to go 
kill a few animals, especially here. Try and get a few off before returning to base. Um, I'm going to teleport once more. It's going to take about the same time as going back, but that way you can see, like, if you're really down there and you're stuck, it's a lot easier to do. So now I don't have any recommended items that I can buy because they're all too expensive, so I'm just going to try and get one that seems to suit me the best that I possibly think. That's pretty good. Deflect chance. I think I'm gonna go for that. Additional vamp strike would be pretty good because, uh, like I said, it's the most important skill. So yeah, I'm gonna go for deflect by that and then Magic hop back service. into the last wave. So this class, I think it's called a bruiser anyway. Just, just the first class is the more tank reliant one. So yeah. Every oof, every so often, every few waves, you get a boss fight that you need to take care of. Bam! They are not really affected about the no healing thing, so you kind of have to uh, 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 get, 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 get the last boom. Even was able to deflect that, possibly due to my item that I just scored. They also make short works of the turret, so once they take down the turret, they will go down to your missile silo. You should get them soon? Yes, indeed. Upgrade that second thing again, because really what you want to do is attack as much as you can to make sure that you get as much vamp strike as you can. So you see this first map is sort of easy. I'm going to let them attack the turret right there, because there's still two turrets here, still a turret there, and then only they get to the critical missile silo. That's not the same in every <laughs> other map. All right. Still, let's pick those off and finish this round. Boom, boom. That should be all. Should be everything. There you go. Every wave that you complete, whoop, this little guy goes away and bam, victory. But the heroes managed to pull through all the way and prove to us that they are tougher and stronger. There we go. And you can see here the progression that you make. So now I have to heal. But that's with another class. And this is with Slayer. I think that's also another class. You can see what you've gained, what items you purchased, etc. Alright. We're going to change the settings. Take another map. Um, this one is kind of similar, but I kind of want to do kind of want to show off there it goes one of these because I want to kind of let you see a radically different one um, yeah I'm gonna take this one so this is a bruiser again it says like here the tank and here the damage dealer but so you'll see that they're fairly similar So this map, a bit different, a bit more circular rather than linear. So here you have to kind of watch out that you don't really get any one turret down because any one turret is sort of a big problem to lose because then you can bam. You can be pretty vulnerable on um, that spot where the turret has gone to because if we go to the left here, this is the turret one, and then the silo is immediately there, especially with boss waves that um, tear down through your whole defense line in like seconds. It's very tricky to stay in control of all turrets at once there. So we're gonna go over the skills from this class. They're very similar. Uh, gonna huh. This thing is crowd control, so it stuns for a brief moment. This here, whoop, as we see, is a charge. This is just a big damager. Bam! The crowd control thing is very important. And the second skill, again, very important, is this pretty much the same as the one from the previous class. So that's the thing you want to level up the most. It, again, just increases your speed, which is kind of what you want to go do. Um, once more, we're going to go into these pits here, and oh, that was too soon. That's what I want to do. I want to enhance my speeds. 
Bam! Kill these dudes. Get their muns. Their monies. Mun, mun, muns. Because um, I've queued up an item that is not a recommended item. I didn't like the, the items that they were recommending. So, oh, again, that is gonna cost me because these are much tougher. Gotta make sure I keep stunning them. Possibly even get an exit plan going. There we go. They're gonna heal super fast once I'm gone, by the way. There's gonna be another wave incoming, but I need to go back and heal first. I need just a little more money to gain my other item. Um, while I explain skills, I will be going back since this, in this map, the store is much closer by. You can kind of do in between runs. Oh no, that's armor PC. I don't want that to happen. So this, the big finisher move, uh, it hits, bam, extra if the character is already hurt, in which case that character right there took a whole chunk of damage at once. Whew, luckily they're gonna come back here. So yeah, I again want to go for Vamp Strike as soon as I can, make sure that I collect that second skill as much as possible. We're going to rush towards the armor piercing guy, stun him for a second, and then try and get as much damage in as we can. Bam! Luckily, they came to us and we were able to boom! Do another whole mess of damage at once. Um, nope, we're gonna stay fast. Okay, we're gonna go to the store real quick while the second wave comes in. A squad of outlaws entered the arena. And buy the item that we're supposed to buy. So, 20 attack damage, 30 vamp strikes, which is important, and a bit more armor, so I'm a bit more resilient. I also have health re regeneration, which was one of the small recommended items. Oh, where's the healer? Bam! That's the one I gotta get. And now I should be more resilient against everyone. There we go. Now I can stand in the pack and pretty much get the damage done that I need. Oh, see? While I was there, another wave showed up here and I need to kind of rush over. Which you can, by the way, use these whoop line of attack skills for it to make sure that doesn't happen. So once more we're gonna boop, stun, and there. Another wave successfully done. That would be this class. We're not gonna wait up for the other boss fight, etc. I'm going to risk taking on this guy, which is a major monster, and it really, really hurts, really bad. So you gotta be, gotta be on your best behavior. No. Just so you can see what different kind of monsters there are. It looks like I'll be able to tackle him. The only problem I need... Boom! It's actually being as tough as a boss fight right now. Oh no, I'm stunned. That's bad. That is very bad. I don't want that to happen. This character apparently suffers from some energy regeneration issues. So there, my health is really low. And um, yeah. If these were longer waves, I would take some consideration into buying items that increase my energy. So this dude has been You're done. Ooh, been able to attack this third for seconds here, which is kind of bad. But we'll ma we'll make it. We'll make it. There. So with this round, I achieved the target practice um, progress thing, which means I get more content out of it. And my bruiser health regeneration is increased by two, so your heroes also um, become better, which allows you to do tougher difficulties. Okay, so third one is gonna be harder because these are support classes. Um, there we go.
So here we see the third class in action, um, which is personally my favorite class. Also my favorite level here, the rooftop, because you can see here there's different pathways that kind of force you to be clever with your movement. And in particular with this class, um, which is based on movement, that just becomes a good combo. So the first thing is a stun, you can see there those three gladiators are all in a bind now. Um, since it's ranged though, you will need to keep your distance and you will be forced to kind of make use of your little minions here. Oh no! The second thing that I just activated is the most important one. It um, allows you to fire much more rapidly as long as you don't move, which is sort of why the crowd control movement thing is so important. Once more we're going to go shoot some dudes before we go back to base. Again, you can see here, boom, they're stunned. Now I will fire a lot more efficiently. You can also use the third thing that I used before there, the teleport skill, and that teleport skill will allow you to not move so you retain your second skill level, in that, in which case um, you can't really take precedence over any one skill. I boost up the second one because it's more important. Again, I loaded up um, a vamp strike and health regeneration one because the recommended item was not to my satisfaction we still need to check the fourth one which um, reduces armor and damages enemies but i don't think it's that good of an ultimate skill i rather prefer just toying with um the whole crowd control stunning make sure i fire as quickly as possible and then teleport in case i need to be so here you can see these things sort of block my movement so to be able to get to my crowd as well as possible, I need to kind of be smart about things. Oh no, I gotta make sure I kill this guy first. That wasn't clever, but screw it. There, the four skill, you'll see there, bam, he now takes a lot more damage when I shoot. Which is, um, like, it's not very damaging in itself, but um, everyone who gets affected in that area takes a lot more damage. So you can see it's more of a support sort of thing. Oh no, gotta make sure I keep these lanes open. Huh. Stun this guy. I'm gonna move away. There. keep my movement accurate so you see there I teleported while my skill was active that was which helped me retain it oop gotta, gotta go again see what's good with this character is I can use a teleport skill to kind of overcome those little gaps that will otherwise make me lose a lot of time there's an armor piercing guy yeah well he's gonna get it oh he moved! Oh no, that's that's my bane. And he caught me right before the teleport, so I might actually die on this. I need to make sure... There, I stun as much as possible. And now gain advantage of my vamp strike that I took. See, the problem is there, they were just outside of my range, but with that teleport, it allows me to get back in there and save myself in the end. Wasn't that nice? That'll give you a good idea. Also, just, just, I really like the voice of the character. Oh my, they've been at it for a while. Oh man, see, can't, can't make a move, but we'll make it again. Oh, just a quick note, again, you can click here on the map and your thing, your character will move automatically. So that'll give you a little more time to go over items that you like while you're moving up to the store. In which case, I don't know. That's kind of a problem though, the whole, um, hmm, what should I take? Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna go with more health and deflect again. Seems to work well. 
Like the interface isn't super great. That's kind of an issue. There again, some character progression. We can see here. Regulators attack damage increase by 10. Boom. Climbing up the ranks one at a time. Last thing is a medic, although this medic is more a little more healer, uh, a little more damage. This one, and this one is straight up healing, as you see here. That um, final attack is a class a uh, party based one. We're gonna take one more. We're gonna take this one. There we go. So of course the last medic class, um, also more support will also kind of force you to stay near turrets if you want to survive the onslaught. The first skill demands a line of fire so I need to go around, there we go, um, but that bullet will um, heal me back, oh no, I gotta get out of there, uh, there we go. This is a cone effect this will let me charge and again increase my attack speed which is sort of a theme with a lot of dudes a lot of classes have that BAM um, the subtlety here in this map why I want to show it off is it's kind of like the first map we showed but a little broader that you kind of have to face those three things in the front at once and also here that little nook again I've taken one against the recommended items because it has vamp strike and health regeneration. And what's also important about this map, uh, which shows you kind of the subtleties in between, is that there are no monsters. So monsters are indicated with a yellow dot Let's on the screen so. on the minimap, and there are none here. So it will get trickier to get your money for items you will rely solely on kills gotta wait for that speed up. new wave that's kind of normally you can stay busy with um, monsters which shows you why you do that in between rounds because there's Enough this long timer okay we're gonna go over all the skills again in particular um, the last one we didn't see yet but it's sort of a big damager but and heals you again, yada yada, all that. Um, there we go. Gonna go for the movement speed. Oh no. Gotta go around. Get that. Oh no. Line of fire. Boom. There. This guy is gonna get. Blam! The rocket. Which you can see did a lot of damage at once. Get closer, please. Is there a healer in there? Yep. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. There we go. We gotta get around. Make sure there that healer's dead. Get our attack speed up. So we can take advantage of our vamp strike item. Boom! Let's speed things up. These skills also um, are good for your allies. For instance, this one, if I move through my allies with the boost thing, they will also gain speed, etc. As well as this one, There's since they are support classes after all. But yeah, here we can see that we're probably going to have a tough time. It's really tough to stay alive with um, these support classes on your own. Luckily, that rocket did a huge amount of damage everywhere. No, 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 you don't. No, you don't, you stupid. Bam. That's gonna be it. So, there you go. Those are all the classes in Bloodsports TV, as well as some information about maps, monsters, items, etc., etc. Let's hope my sound's good this time, because I ain't doing this three times over. 
man. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe. And if you do, hit the button right now so that you, you don't need to do it again because you've already done it. Comments, suggestions, always appreciated. Leave them. Like and share, whatever you can do. Any help is highly appreciated. Thank you very much. See you again some other time. Bye.